First rule of being the hotel inspector is never assume you've seen it all. That looks like the wall is extruding a poo. I'm Alex Polizzi, and I'm an award-winning hotelier. But it's Britain's worst hotels that give me sleepless nights. Let me out! Just stop it! There's no point going on with this, is there? Oh, my God! I've seen the bizarre. We've got board full of boobs. <laughs> the ridiculous. This is a very awkward little space. Do you like guests? <laughs> <laughs> and the downright ugly. It looks like a crack den. I always think I've scraped the bottom of the barrel. I never quite have. I've brought countless hotels back from the brink. Hoteliers think they know what to expect from me. This time, I'm coming with a few new tricks up my sleeve. Alex Polizzi. No, that's a surprise. <gasps> Alexia! That is a bad attitude, and you want to get out of it. Ten 21-year-old Irish girls. Coming tonight? Yes. You to stay. Serious. I am serious. I want to close the bear for business. Really? We should just shut it and bugger off. <laughs> I don't want to hear bitching and moaning. I am um, out. Oh. This week, a budget hotel. It's not the height of luxury. With a meddling manager. I need to go and give my head a wobble. Whose every move is monitored by her boss. She's on a different planet. She tells me I don't care anymore. I'm doing 19 bastard hours a day. She's distracting you from doing your main job, which is running a hotel. Oh, I've got no bed in. The Blue Inn is a motorway pit stop in Redditch near Birmingham. I'm going to rip somebody apart. Run by general manager Donna Weir. Hi, it's Donna at the Blue Inn Redditch. I've got guests checking in and I've got no bedding on the beds. Rude bitch. When Donna took over 18 months ago, she inherited a struggling business with a shady past. It was known as Redditch Bed and Bounce. Prostitutes have come down here, get up room by the hour. Yeah, it was not nice. Right, Tink, if you need me, I'm in housekeeping. Donna has been working all the hours under the sun to try to rid the hotel of its dodgy reputation. Most I've done is 138 hours. I do about 110 a week. It is my life. I've always been a workaholic, always. It's the Yorkshire in me, it's gotta be. But instead of managing her team of 13 workers from the office... These aren't coming back in great shape, are they? Donna is usually found on the front line working with them. Who needs a man? Single. Single. That's the best way to be, Julie. If they're short in the kitchen, I'm in there. Hey, waiters. If they're short of a housekeeping, I'll go and stick my head down a bog and scrub it. I'm not your standard general manager. I don't just sit in an office all day tapping on the laptop. I'm where my team need me. you just got to do it all, aren't you, at the end of the day? That is the idea of being a GM. Donna's boss, Caroline, doesn't agree. Worried about low turnover, she watches Donna and the team via a network of CCTV cameras from her office 400 miles away in Paris. We have the eye of the tiger. We have Big Brother. So if Caroline wants to see what we're up to, she can just log on and have a little look. It's true that sometimes <laughs> I open the camera and then I see people sitting or people on the telephone and not working. And I send by email to the manager to ask, OK, please um, check a little bit this situation. For sure, I'm not happy with that. <gasps> Spasa? Caroline will push me to my limit. Yeah, she's just ripping me in the backside. Hi, Caroline. Can you see me? That's my P45 in the post. Donna may have rid the hotel of working girls, but so far she has failed to deliver a profit, falling way short of the target set by Caroline. We're running about 24, 25k behind. We are struggling. And her boss is losing patience. This is the third manager that I have for this hotel. I told her, you will be the last one that I have for this hotel. We prefer to find a solution with her or we stop this business my dreams and aspirations. Make sure it's still here so the team have got a job. With the pressure mounting, Donna has sent out an SOS. 
I have heard rumours that Caroline monitors Donna uh, in a kind of big brother scenario with cameras all over the place. And quite honestly, I can't see how that's productive either for Caroline or for Donna. Surely Caroline has some better way to spend her time. And Donna should feel that she has the trust of her owner. Otherwise, it's a, a relationship that's doomed to disaster. An overworked but underperforming general manager and a dissatisfied boss. It's a tangled web that I somehow need to unknot. Alexia! Hello, nice Hello. to meet you, Alex. Welcome to Mayhem. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Are you busy today? Steady here. We've got about 15 rooms left. It's really difficult at the moment. We're the lowest in the area. Are you? Yeah. I've just dropped the rates to... The cheap. Pounds. No, I'm 30, no, I'm 45 tonight, but I'm the, I'm the cheapest. Last night was 39, but it is, it's dog eat world out there at the moment. I know, I know. So, but I'd rather have um, cheap rooms and full rooms than no rooms at all. Okay. I've worked with a lot of hotel managers, and the best ones know how to get the best out of their staff. If you spend all your time micromanaging, you end up with a really annoyed workforce and a completely worn out boss. You look knackered. I am. But we keep going. How old are you? I am 40. Yup. Oh, Alex. <laughs> That's not nice. No, well, I'm 44. I mean, I, you know, so I'm not, I'm not casting aspersions, darling. I'm someone living in a glass house. But um, I just know what, how exhausted this it is. It is exhausting. Is. Give me room six. Thank you. Primarily used by contractors and travelling salesmen, the hotel's 48 rooms cost from 40 to 80 pounds a night. Gosh, well, I have already noticed that it's not double glazed, and in fact, I don't even have proper curtains, which I'm really quite distressed about because you do need something to soak up the road noise. Um. Oh, that's going to really bother me. The, the flashy light. I have to get something done about that. Otherwise... <laughs> otherwise, it's OK. It's not the height of luxury, but neither does it send me into the depths of despair. It's, it's budget. It's just a budget hotel. But I can't help thinking about the hotel's unsavoury past. You would have to be pretty riven by lust uncontrollable desire to want to get hot and heavy here for an hour. I mean, let's just pop down to the boo in, shall we, and do a bit of hokey cokey. I don't think so. <laughs> Tailoring the blue in's rooms to suit the contractor market will need some thought, but there's not much I can do about the hotel's location. Reminds me of some kind of American horror movie. You know, I can imagine myself running around these bits, screaming, being chased by an axe-wielding murderer. Her coming here, it means a lot. At first, when I did it, I thought, is it because I'm, I'm failing? Um, but I'm not. Um, I'm doing my best, and my team are doing the best. But we need guidance in how to make it better and get customers in. The hotel has its own on-site, imaginatively named restaurant. The blue steak. <laughs> it has an extensive menu of over 20 dishes, including lobster in landlocked Redditch. It could do better, to be fair. Um, um, we had about eight restaurants open in Redditch Town Centre um, through the year, and it has affected us. I'm not quite sure who exactly would stay there and want to come here, or vice versa. Not entirely sure that this is what her regular clientele of contractors and night workers, uh, if this is what they're really looking for, it's a problem. In an out-of-town roadside business like this one, the goal is to get your guests to spend their money on site. You've got to upsell and get your food offering right. Monday, two for one on ribs. Tuesday, two for one on burgers. Wednesday, two for one on steaks. Friday, buy a start in the main and get a free bottle of house wine. Saturday, cocktails, two for one. Sunday, roast, two courses, £7.50. Uh, honestly, you have no idea what anyone will come here for. No. That's not upselling, that's overkill. 
I'm starting to think that the Bluin's problems go deeper than just the rooms or an oversized restaurant menu. I need to have a careful look at the management. The worst thing she could say to me is that I'm, I'm not good at my job. That is the worst thing she could say. I'm not sure how much experience you have as a GM, and I'm not sure how much experience she has as an owner, but I'm telling you, it can't work like this. I mean, I noticed that you're the general manager, that you're the kitchen head chef, and you're the restaurant manager. Yeah. You can't be the restaurant manager and the kitchen head chef. It's just not possible. <laughs> I mean, you're very distracted. Yeah. Someone once said to me that I had a butterfly mind, and it was because I was trying to learn the Sage accounting system at the same time as taking mm. orders, at the same time as, you know, dealing with customers. But actually, it's not a very effective way of doing things. No, it's not, and I agree. Um, do I want to be over there stripping rooms for housekeepers? No, not really. How many hours do you work a week? About 120. I just want to tell you that your productivity, your mental agility, your mental acuity, after nine hours, that falls off the edge of a cliff. You are not fucking superwoman. I think we're going to have to work on focus. Focus. For you. Think. Instead of rushing I know what about I want to do, Alex, and I know what I want to do, but she won't let me do it. I want to bring it back to basics, and I want to make it a, a budget hotel. Well, it not, is a blood budget hotel. No, but hotel. not in Caroline's eyes, no. She knows I'm doing £39 a night. She'll freaking kill me. Why doesn't she just come and run the fucking hotel? As I head to my room for the night, my message seems to be falling on deaf ears. Donna has gone straight to the kitchen for a shift as head chef, instead of staying put and managing from her office. They're doubling up on the steaks, right? And they're having a lasagna, and they're having an extra three portions of chips. Jesus Christ. We have got a lot of Yorkshire in this week, so that's probably what it is. They like their food. This is a peculiar set of problems that I haven't ever had to deal with before. You know, an absent owner, a kind of incredibly committed but slightly disorganised manager. Tomorrow morning, I've got to pin her down, get some figures, see what's what, and start sorting out the wheat from the chaff. I'm working my ass off here and I'm doing my best. So, and yeah, I have to be everywhere. I'm a hands-on manager. If you want to try and change me, please do, but nobody else has ever succeeded. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days today. I think it's going to be one of them weeks, to be fair. Fifty shades of fucked up. I've spent the night at Budget Hotel The Blue Inn in Redditch, near Birmingham. I slept amazingly well. I wasn't expecting to, because when I got here and into the bed, I realised on this side, you can literally feel every single spring of, in, the, in the mattress. So um, I slept over that side of the bed and it was fine. Manager Donna has been up for hours. Toilet roll. Oh. They've just know. sent me the cheapest ones. I know to cut back, but... Not that much. It was quite um, coarse. 36 for £9.20. Well, what do you expect for £9 pissing 20? Well, I was going, I was Dear trying. God, girl. The owner, Caroline, is also gearing up for a day overseeing the hotel from Paris. Concerned about her underperforming manager and the hotel's low turnover, she keeps a watchful eye on Donna and her staff. Well, I just um, opened to see uh, if there are some people in the restaurant, but it's totally empty at the moment. Yes, I have worries about the business. I think Donna is a little lost in the strategy of the business, so she is everywhere, but she doesn't spend time to really manage the people. Oh! Is it coming on? Caroline regularly emails Donna about her management of the hotel. Today, those emails are coming in thick and fast. She tells me I don't fucking care anymore. I'm doing 19 bastard hours a day. But you know what? We're in the shit. Where is she? Does she think just sending an email is gonna... <sighs> oh, my God. Is it some kind of power trip? I don't know. I'm not a toy you can play with, Ben. I've given her 18 months of my life. The Blue Inn is an absolute case of how not to manage people. Donna spends her whole time rushing around like a blue-arsed fly, 
doing things herself that she should be telling other people to do as a kind of avoidance technique for actually doing the work that she should be doing. Oh. And she fucking got nothing better to do. She must be bored. And Carolyn obviously doesn't trust Donna, so as being just as bad a manager, because why have a hotel manager in place who you have to constantly surveil? With the distant boss and the on-site manager at loggerheads, it's down to me to be the referee. I need to focus on Donna's management style to diffuse the tensions between them. All I can do at the moment is work on how you do things mm -hmm. and bolster you to a point where you actually have an absolutely undeniable argument for every single change that you want to make. OK. I'm liking the sound of that. I think what you have to remember is no one could say that you don't work incredibly <laughs> hard. What you're misunderstanding is it's not about working hard, it's about working smart. It's so easy to be a busy fool yeah. and to kind of rush around doing things which aren't actually that productive for the business. And I'm telling you, I will tackle Caroline. Thank you. And we are going to make it crystal clear to her about how we might improve revenue streams. Mm -hmm. And then tell her to stop all this bollocks of emailing you 20 times a day, because actually she's distracting you from doing your main job, which is running a fucking hotel. You can't properly manage a hotel if you're charging around like a headless chicken. I want Donna to focus on her role, which also means sitting still in her office chair for one whole hour. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm feeling twitchy already. Go. One hour. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I've asked Donna to write me a list of all her daily tasks and routines so we can work out how to make her a more effective manager. I think she really needs to learn to do this. And I think it will make her realise just how little time she actually does that. She's just like a little whirlwind. I just think she doesn't know how to stop that groove of her brain, which is telling her to be constantly in motion, and start strategizing. I think because she's not quite sure what the strategy should be, it's easier just to stay busy. At this point in this business, it's not the most productive use of her time. Never felt so twitchy. Oh, I just, you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna start again. 17 minutes in. I'm absolutely sure that if I can get Donna to focus more, this business stands a much better chance of succeeding. And maybe then her boss would just back the fuck off. Each week, owner Caroline likes to see detailed financial reports of how the business is performing. You know, every figure tells a story. There's an amazing narrative beneath every set of figures if you dig deep enough. And there's quite a few really interesting things, mainly that, as I thought, about 70% of that menu is never ordered. The other thing that I found really interesting is restaurant income. It just goes up and down in a kind of queasy-making manner. September, absolutely shocking month. October, absolutely shocking month. You know, those are... There's the kind of anomalies that I think a really good manager addresses and analyzes. That is the way successful managers work. Donna's hour in the hot seat is nearly up. 59 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm going, I'm going to go in. Done, stop. Good, I need a wee. All right, go and then come back. <laughs> I need a wee, I need a wee. <laughs> I am eager to find out what's on her list and what she thinks being a manager involves. Is this in order of importance? I think so, but you may disagree, but... OK, fine. You check want... rates online and occupancy. That's the first thing I do. Kitchen prep if needed, check on fridges, room checks, cellar check, and rate ch check. Rate check. More rate checks. <laughs> well, yeah. And then some days I have meetings with, like, suppliers. You know what is astonishing that it doesn't even mention in this? What? It doesn't mention forward planning, promotion, any kind of analysis. But that's, that's with my chat with Ben, and that's what we did. That when I'm with Ben, that's what we go with the figures. But it is about focus. 
I think it's really important that you encourage every single staff member to come into you. I don't really? want to be sat here like some kind of god. It's nothing, it's not at all about being a god, darling. It is about what your value is to the company. Yeah, I understand that. And the fact that your value is what you can do with your brain. Yes. And not what you can do with your twinkly toes. Yeah. I agree, I do agree. OK, um, so this afternoon we are going to start doing some strategic planning. Mm -hmm. I think you need to show real focus and, mm -hmm. and real analysis of how this is going to work. Mm -hmm. I want to see you be a more strategic manager. Mm -hmm. She always uh, wants to say, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. No. You are the manager here, so you have to organise that people do the work and the tasks and that you just control and you take a step back to follow the business. Although I don't approve of her approach, I understand why Caroline feels the need to keep a close eye on Donna. She needs results and I need to prove to her that Donna can deliver them. So, I'm going to help Donna formulate a business plan to raise occupancy and increase profits, starting with the rooms. Right, so, one of your charming rooms. What I would like to suggest that I do in here is to put proper blackout curtains in for you. Okay. I think um, we need to really make this work up. No frills. Mm -hmm. Take anything extraneous like this away. And Just one more thing. To and the cushions? I would. It's all stuff you need to keep clean, you need to keep on top of that goes missing. Mm -hmm. But let's try and cut down the cost of everything. Strip it down. No frills. Uh we need to get the guests that stay in the rooms across to the restaurant by upselling a more concise and focused menu. I would like you to take the marker pen and strike through everything you're going to take off the menu. It's a steakhouse, so let's just go with it. But my biggest fix here is to empower Donna, and I've asked her to put together a proposal to steer the hotel into profit. The Blue Inn is what it is. It's a budget hotel with the potential to increase its revenue by offering a fixed room rate and upselling on food. But actually, I'm just as interested in seeing how Donna's going to grow and develop as a manager. I know she has the potential, now she just has to prove it. Now, let's talk strategy. Just started working on it, and yeah. the plan would be drop the room rate to room only every night to £39. Yeah. Um, at the moment, we're running on about 69% occupancy. Yeah. Um, but with this, we go up to 80 to 90%. The strategy for the restaurant is to make the menu um, smaller, cheaper, do more marketing so people know it, yeah. have the menu everywhere. And when all this is done, you know, if the figures don't come out with pluses at the bottom, we so know well. we're never going to get them past Caroline. Absolutely. So what we need to do is build up a really effective, watertight case. I'm going to give you a month to do this. OK. We then go together to Paris. Really? I think so. We're going to have to go Paris. and see... We're going to have to go and see Caroline, aren't we? We're going to have to get this past her, get her off your back, get her to behave as a more professional owner yep. to you, and you be allowed to work as a more professional manager to her, because ultimately this situation, as it stands at the moment, is not really sustainable. It's not. You can't be working seven days a week and in the kitchen and, 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 and doing this. Let the battle begin. I'm with you. Thank you. Absolutely behind you. I'm going to work my hardest on this to make it work, to prove to Caroline that I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because it is the last chance of making this a really successful business. She needs to do the job she has taken on to do. And if she can do that, then hopefully we can save this place. Really? It's not happening? I ain't speaking French. It's time to take the trip to Paris. Stop saying you are too busy in the kitchen, too busy yes. in the bedroom, too busy in the to restaurant, be honest, too busy I haven't been, been too busy in the bedrooms. I don't know, go away. Just give her everything she needs and she'll calm down. I need to go for a walk, I'm stressed. In Redditch, I've told struggling general manager Donna to stop rushing around micromanaging her staff and concentrate on formulating a business plan. I want to convince owner Caroline that Donna is the right manager for her business. Let the battle commence, sweetheart. 
It's make or break time. If she goes with it, um, I'll be over the moon for myself and the team. If not, then I'll, that will be no more done about the blue in. I am getting really stressed about it again. She has to leave she me alone. She has to leave you alone. She has to leave me alone to do it, not giving me grief every five minutes. Caroline is understandably concerned about the hotel's bottom line and undecided about its future. So when Donna presents her business plan, it needs to be watertight. There's no way I'm going to Paris and making myself look a fool if it's not going to work. Now Donna's business proposal is taking shape, it's my turn to send her an email. Dear Donna, I'd like you to be able to greet Caroline in their language. French. Is she having a laugh? Call me old fashioned, but I do think that if you're conducting business somewhere like France, it's a good idea to throw in a few basic French phrases. Really? It's not happening. I ain't speaking French. <gasps> oh, I just want to cry. It shows that you're trying really hard, and it also breaks the ice. No. Do you know what? No. I'll need to go and give my head a wobble. What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> What's happened? French. French? Yeah. Yeah? I've got to speak French, Julie. That's what I've got to do. Get lost. They're shitting on my head, they are, I'm telling you. I, ain't... I can barely speak fucking English. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't try. A few days later, and the trip to Paris is finally upon us. This is quite a momentous day because I'm meeting Donna here to go and talk with Caroline in Paris to try and get the new plan past her. The relationship between Donna and Caroline has deteriorated somewhat. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go today. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You ready for this? Nervous. Are you? Yes. We've got enough time now to test every element of it mm -hmm. so that, um, you know, she can't catch you out. She will. She will. She'll find a way. She you will. Can. We've got time to perfect the pitch, but before we've even left the UK, Donna has some surprising news. Out of the blue, Caroline has received an offer for the hotel. So tell me, if she's got an offer for the hotel... She has. She spoke to me last night. You know, you tell me. Why Why do you think that she should keep it? Why do you think that she should give this a go? I think she should keep it because, with this plan, I mean, it, we will be busy, and I think she will make money. Um, and she has got a good team there that want to work for her and make it a success. This is going to be a very interesting meeting. I'm dreading it. <laughs> How do you feel about this that you've been working on? Nervous. Um, it's probably not right. Caroline's a bigger person, and yeah. she's gonna, I know she's gonna have me nuts. But I've done my best, and I believe in this plan, and so does the team. Well, I think we've got an uphill struggle, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't give it a good go. There's a lot riding on this pitch. Caroline having an offer on the hotel has thrown a fairly hefty spanner in the works. The future for Donna and the hotel could be decided in the next few hours. I can't say I'm completely confident about how this is going to go. Carolyn's had an offer on the hotel. I mean, the whole thing has kind of imploded upon me. If I was in Donna's shoes, I certainly would not accept defeat. She's spent a lot of time and energy preparing these figures. Um, she really believes that they can work. And uh, she still has a chance of convincing Caroline of that. Hello, Donna. Hello, Caroline. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's true that I'm really hoping that she will show me um, that she, she wants to focus more on some um, the management skills itself of the hotel manager. Maybe see in a different way the future of the Blue Inn. Please come in. This is Donna's moment to shine, to show Caroline that she's more than a butterfly that she's a strategic and focused manager with a clear and coherent vision for the business. Caroline, thank you for giving us, for giving Donna the opportunity to come and pitch to you. Donna's been working for the last six weeks on presenting this proposal to you. I know things have moved on a bit since then, but I think it's still worthwhile getting to hear your thoughts on this. So, Donna, do you want to...? Yes, so there you go. If you would like to take a look at that. Thank you. And one for yourself. Thanks. 
OK. May I just say, before I start, this is the first time I have ever done a budget. So there may be a, a few mistakes, but I have done my best. So what can we do to make us more successful? The business plan for 2016. Lower rate, higher volume. So the price for fixed room would be £39. The reason we've gone for £39 is after speaking to the workers, um, they get a budget of £50. So they can afford to come to us at that and also to eat. I'm pleased to see Donna has done her homework and produced a plan to cater to her core market of workmen and contractors. We need to be the lowest to get the occupancy. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to afford this? Taking it back to basics. Basic linen. Bring the menu back to a basic, a steakhouse. We advertise as a steakhouse, so be a steakhouse. Um, focus on the workmen. Historically, Caroline has been resistant to the idea of the Blue Inn being a budget hotel. I can't tell yet whether Donna is changing her mind. The main idea was to simplify. Yes, yeah, to just reduce. Think, to reduce stock and to make sure you're only stocking things that you sell. If you upsold on breakfast and dinner and did that well and captured as many as possible, that would be amazing. Mm. Oh, this um. is perfect. Mm -hmm. Caroline seems convinced about the business plan, but she wants guarantees about Donna's style of management. Stop saying you are too busy in the kitchen, too busy yeah. in the bedroom, well, too busy in the to restaurant, be honest, too busy I haven't been, at the been bath. too busy in the bedrooms. Ask yourself, why am I too busy? Cannot someone else do that for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you check. Yeah. But you need to check, for sure. Yeah. Try to do, not to reply, I'm too busy, I can't do your reporting. Yeah. I haven't done that for a while. It's for you as well. Yes, I know that now. How will you organise your time when you go yeah. back in Redditch? How will I organise it? I'll be putting the motions and everything into place. Heads of departments would be told what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Not asked, told. Reception will be told how to do it. And then we're going to start making the money. And, and, and then I, in the I, office, what will I you do will, in the office? I'm just going to get to that. Donna's come so far. I don't want her to blow it now. The most important is uh, team management. Mm. So they, and you are a manager, you are not the team co-worker. And uh, to really make them upsell, this is yeah. very important. Nowadays. It's just priority yeah. and uh, planning. Mm -hmm. So I would like to suggest that we reconvene in six weeks' time and analyse how the strategy is working. Yes. And I think for this to work, everyone has to play their part. You have got to prove that you can be Hotel manager. A, a, really, a manager. And stay stuck to your desk. And I think, Caroline, I would suggest that it would be helpful and useful if you two reconfigured your working relationship, because I think it would be good if you sent her an email a day and she sent you one email a day, because the rest of the time you have to spend actually managing that establishment. Yes, what does that sound like to actually you? Actually, the target for me is to have one time per week feedback on the business. Just my weekly report? Yes. Okay. Thank Good. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you I believe if she fits with the plan and she really focuses and she does, does not get distracted by any new situation around in each area of the business, she could uh, succeed in this. Considering the kind of friction it has been, you know, it certainly appears extremely uh, reasonable, friendly and professional. I'm shocked, actually. I'm very shocked. Yes, it went well. She sold the plan on paper. Now, of course, she has to make it work. Now we've been given the green light, work has begun in Redditch to put the plan into action. In the rooms, fitting the blackout curtains and losing the unnecessary frills have made them much more fit for purpose. I've also added rugged doormats for workmen to park their muddy boots. And crucially, the addition of the new streamlined menus should encourage guests to eat in the restaurant. The stripped back rooms are honest, comfortable and clean. The competitive rate should raise occupancy, but Donna needs to motivate her staff now to upsell meals. What I need you to do um, is upsell, 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 OK? And if I hear people that are not upselling, they won't have a job, OK? So when anybody checks in, you're upselling the breakfast. 
if they haven't already booked it, you yeah, put, and then you're pushing them in that restaurant. They've got to get in that restaurant on a night. If you want it, we can do it. If we can do it, you can have it. No, we will do it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. What's it about, Joe? It's all about... Up. Upselling. Upselling. Where you can, if you can. That's why I put you in the kitchen now, Joe. <laughs> it's not about the Donna magic anymore. It's blue, blue in magic. Come on, blue team. But will Donna's plan work? Right, we're going to run. All right, come on. I need this room, like, now. And is Caroline selling up or staying put? What is the situation now with the hotel? Are you still planning on selling it? I've got figures coming out of my brain. Yeah, I am completing a figure girl now. The Blue Inn's general manager, Donna Weir, is a new woman. God, I've changed, yeah. Um, for the better, the staff seem to think so. I think she's always been committed but more so now because she feels in control. Julie! Yeah? Come here. Over the past two months, I've been encouraging her to blossom from butterfly to boss. Communication. I've just fo followed it up for you. Thank you. OK. Put the wood in the hole, will you? Absolutely. Thank you. Feels weird being in the office, but I don't stay in there all the time. Old habits die hard, but I'm really hoping Donna is more focused. This is her chance to show that her business plan can work and convince owner Caroline not to sell the hotel. Donna has you dropped the room rate Donna to £39. Pounds. I'm sorry, sweetheart, I've got nothing left for tonight. And it seems it's already delivering results. Absolute nuts. Unfortunately, we've got nothing left for this evening. OK, bye-bye. Good evening, the Blue Inn, I'm help. Tonight, the hotel is running at 100% occupancy. Chock a block, no, no room at the inn. Not even for Mary tonight. So it is crazy, it's crazy, crazy. Demand for rooms is so high that when there's a cancellation, Donna is back to her old tricks. Right, we're going to run. All right, come on. I need this room, like, now. Working on the front line to turn a room around for another booking. I need towels, Jen. Everything. I can forgive her that one lapse. So, yeah, crisis over. But raising the occupancy is only stage one of the plan. If Donna is going to hit her targets, she needs to convert the increased number of guests into better food and beverage sales. That means upselling at every opportunity. And then, uh, you've got room only, do you want to have breakfast on at all? Hidden amongst tonight's full house, I've planted my own secret guests in the shape of her target market. Too busy tonight. Yeah, we're fully booked tonight and tomorrow. Five tired and hungry builders. Hello. Hi, are you checking Hi. in? Yes, please. I want to see if they choose to spend their hard-earned cash in the hotel's restaurant. What's the food like up there? It's nice. Is it yeah, good? it's lovely, yeah. Yeah, there's a menu here if you want to have a quick so, look. Yeah. yeah, I'll look to that. But, my undercover guests will be reporting back on what they find, starting with the rooms. I think for 39 quid you can't really go wrong, can you? OK, it's nice. Clean. Yeah. It's basic but comfortable. But it's decorated nicely. It's, it's fine for what it's there for. One part of the strategy was to upsell the hotel's food offering via the in-room menus. The menu looks OK. Go down and try it out later. I was just looking at the mixed grill to see what else is involved in that. But yeah, I'll probably go for that when I get down. The boys have gone for it. I'm on my way back to see New Donna for myself. I'm hoping to see a very focused Donna, a Donna who's leading from the front rather than dashing about hither and thither. You know, the kind of butterfly Donna that I first saw that I know she's worked quite hard to correct. Armed with my secret footage, I want Donna to see what I've discovered. Hello, Donna. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I've got to admit, fess up, that I planted some of your customers last night. I wanted to see how the upselling was going. OK. And then I have some um, footage to show you of how they experienced the place. OK, I don't Come. I'm nervous now. Are you ready? I am. Uh, the food in the restaurant was good. 
I think it is value for contractors and um, business. It had everything we needed. Uh, it was spacious. I wasn't expecting a five-star reception or environment, and it, it it was, I think, good value for money. The rooms and food have proved a hit with my secret guests, and the upselling has worked. I mean, the whole thing is that it's positive. You've now positioned this hotel specifically for this kind of market. It's, it's been, been amazing. Good. It's been amazing, and we're full. Yeah, we are chock a block. I mean, we had sixty-seven calls last night for rooms, and we didn't have any. Gosh. Yeah, and we're full again tonight. Nearly full again tomorrow night. So that's brilliant, darling. I've got to admit, at the moment, I'm feeling quite buoyed. Um, Donna's really grasped the nettle, and obviously there, there are still issues to be ironed out. But in the limited time she's had since our visit to Paris, she's really gone great guns. The biggest question I have now outstanding is Caroline suggested that she might actually be at the point of selling the hotel. And now I really want to find out whether the improvements Donna's made in the bottom line has convinced her to hang on to the place after all. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, Donna. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Very well. Very glad to be here. Quite excited about the changes. Tell me about you. What is the situation now with the hotel? Are you still planning on selling it? We, re we decided to to sell the hotel. I'm too far. It's uh, complicated and maybe also for Donna it would be better to have uh, the owner closer to her. Uh, but I'm very happy about first the experience of it and to have shared this year uh, uh, this collaboration with Donna and I'm sure that all what happened thanks to you Alex will be very good for, um, for Donna and for the Blue Inn because um, what we are looking for is to sell as a hotel and to keep the team in the business. So Caroline has decided to sell. I really hope Donna and her team can remain at the Blue Inn to finish what they've started. And with the new UK-based owner, perhaps the days of constant scrutiny will come to an end too. I'll be over the moon, but not in a horrible way. But it's better for business, and if the best in, this, in, in England as well, and we've got a head office, it'll be a lot easier for me and, and make my job a lot easier. Well, I'm quite surprised. I'm leaving here, the Blue Inn, still feeling very cheerful. I was worried there'd be a bit of taste in my mouth because I'm not usually happy to hear a hotel's been sold when so much work's been done to it. But Donna seems happy, and I'm really impressed with what's occurred here. All in all, I think I'm leaving them in pretty good nick. Probably the happiest I've been in quite a while. And, yeah, I've got my life back. I love my job, I love my team, and Alex has changed me more than you'll ever know. I'm going to miss her. She's done so much for me and she's made me enjoy my job again. <laughs>